All right, guys, now we're going to do the closed delta. So we did the open delta in the previous video. Now we're doing the closed delta. So I got three phase available here, breakers off. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy to H1 of our first transformer. Second phase is going to go to H2. So we're going to go A to B. Next one is going to go B to C. Uh, so I need another block here. So I need the B phase to now feed H1 of my second transformer, okay? And then C from my breaker is gonna feed H2. So I got A to B, B to C, and then I need C back to A, right? So I need C phase on H1. Beautiful. And I need to have the A phase. So I have two connections on each of these guys. Missing my last connection here, so the A phase is now going to feed H2. Beautiful. So I got A to B, B to C, and C back to A. Beautiful. Let's turn this on. Make sure that she holds. Beautiful. Okay, everything's good. There's no voltage available because I'm not, uh, I don't have the voltmeter in the circuit yet. But we're just seeing whether that 3 amp breaker uh, has blown. Okay, let's take a look at uh, incoming voltages again. So we've got the meter set to AC volts, and we're gonna test out the voltage on each of our primary windings here. Okay, so let's see, we'll turn this guy on. We have basically two eight volts. Again, I'm not gonna keep repeating the same thing every video, but I'll repeat it one more time. Sometimes the voltage is a little bit higher on this floor. So I'm gonna say two eight, even though we have 211 available here. And because this voltage is higher, our secondary voltages are going to be slightly higher as well. Okay, on the second transformer, you can see that the voltage between H1 and H2 is identical. Ah, uh, yes. So 210, 211. And on the third guy, then we've got identical voltage. Very nice. 210, 211 on each of our primary windings of this delta that we're creating, okay? You'll notice that like my hands are never in the circuit, right? I don't need to have um, high voltage gloves here because I'm using the same uh, touch safe leads and they're going, you can't see that actually, they're going into the meter right here. So I'm not actually using meter leads. My fingers are nowhere near the circuit um, and it's amazing how safe this is. Hopefully you can see the three phase out as we, uh, as we build this up. But compared to when I went to trade school, we had, uh, we literally had copper bars. So we had uh, three, three or four copper bus and they were just basically uh, just plumbing tubes and they were open and you would have clip on connections to each of those copper bus. And so in front of you, you would have, um, you know, 600 volts in front of you uh, on this live bus. Uh, the issue was that people would lean against those live bus um, and forget that it was on. So um, everything is completely safe in that we're using the shrouded leads and everything. Um, so, and you don't have your hands anywhere the, near the circuit. So we're, we're able to look at voltages and everything without actually putting ourselves in the circuit. And it's not like it was when I went to trade school where you could like, like you know, stuff got real when you started working on the on three phase transformer projects. If somebody was talking to you like, Dude, leave me alone. I got a live bus in front of me and I need to concentrate. So do the same thing, concentrate on what you're doing. Keep in mind that, that you will have higher voltages as you go through, but your fingers are nowhere near the circuit when you turn this on, right? Nothing on in the circuit is connected to my body. Okay, so now we've looked at our primary voltages and everything's cool there and the breaker was holding. So now what we need to do is we need to do our secondary. I'm on page 25. Uh, and we've got uh, the higher voltage that's being asked. So we got uh, X2 and X3 uh, being brought together. So we're gonna series up X2 and X3 for each of these guys. And that's gonna provide us with the higher output voltage that's available with these two secondary windings. Okay, so higher voltage always means series connections of the windings there. Beautiful. Okay, then I need to connect up uh, my delta. So, so far all I've done is series up 
the secondary windings, but I've done nothing for uh, connecting a delta. So I need to connect up, um, let's see, I gotta connect up X1 of the first transformer and X4 of the third transformer. So X1 of the first transformer and X4 of the third transformer. Beautiful. Okay, then I've got to connect up uh, the B phase. So X1 of the second transformer is going to be tied in to X4 of the first. So X4 of the first transformer is going to be connected up into X1 of the second transformer. Beautiful. Uh, and then I've got the final connection there uh, on X1 and X4 for the th third transformer. So let's see, uh, I need to go from X1 of the third transformer, and that has to tie in to X4 of my second transformer. Beautiful, okay? Now it looks like all the terminals are uh, connected there, but I don't want to turn the, the uh, breaker on at the moment because I'm not exactly sure whether my buck boost was proper or whether my connections are created or created uh, in the proper fashion. So I want to keep an open connection on this delta first. I want to test out the voltage between those two points. I want to see a very low voltage between those two points. Then I can close the delta. Okay, so follow me as I do that. I'm going to remove two connections and put my meter in first. So I can choose any of the points on the outside of the delta which for this circuit is the X1 and X4 connections, right? So I'm going to choose um, the X1 of transformer number one, and I'm going to choose X4 of transformer number three. So I don't have that final connection on the delta, okay? So, and it's crucial that you do this prior to closing the delta, okay? So I'm going to just look at the voltage between those two points. Okay, so I still have an open connection there, but before I close the delta, I want to make sure that everything's in the proper phase orientation. We saw that the primary was good because we juiced it up, the, the breaker held, and we saw our individual voltages there. But before we close the secondary one, we see a very low voltage. So we're going to turn this on now. And it looks like between those two points, I have three and a half volts available. Okay, if I had screwed up the phasing on my secondary windings, I would have seen double the phase voltage. So I most likely would have seen uh, 240 volts. I'm gonna close the connection now for the delta. We're gonna take a look at the voltages on the secondary of the delta, because now it's safe to do so. Um, and then at the end of the video, I will flip one of the phases and I'll show you the, what you should have seen, like the incorrect voltage to see. But at this point, we're good to go. We have a very slow voltage between those two connections. So we're fine to close that connection on the delta now. Beauty, so I'm going to take, I've turned the breaker off. I'm gonna take that jumper, go from X1 of the first transformer to X4 of the third transformer. And now we'll juice it up and make sure that the breaker holds. Beautiful. If I had screwed up the phasing on the primary or the secondary, the breaker would blow right away. Nice, so now it's holding. And we know it was holding because the two connections that we put together were basically at the same voltage. We were looking for zero volts, we saw three and a half, and we're good to go. Okay, so breaker's off now. I'm now gonna check the voltages coming out of this circuit. Uh, so this guy right here for my A phase, I'm gonna come off of X1 of the first transformer. The B phase, I'm gonna grab that guy off of X1 of the second transformer. And the C phase coming out of this delta is going to come off of X1 of the third transformer. Okay, and then I'm going to put my meter and check the, the voltages across those lines coming out. Okay, so I'm going to check between the A and the B line output of that delta. Nice, so we got 240 volts as an output. Okay, it is 250, right? Uh, but our expected voltage was 240. Again, voltage is high because we don't have any load connected to the secondary of the transformer. We had two eight volts into each of the primary windings of this delta. The ratio is two eight 
to 120, 120. The, we've seriesed up the two secondary voltages with X2 and X3, giving us 240 volts available on the output of each, sick, each single phase transformer. We connected them up as a delta, and that means that the phase and the line voltages are identical. So if I have 240 volts available here, I got 240 volts available on the output there. And I should have identical voltages between A to B, B to C, and C back to A. So let's check out um, the voltage between B and C phase output. Should be identical. There we go, 250 volts. Beautiful. And between C and A, we should have identical voltages. Very nice. Okay, so that would be the end of this, um, this circuit, right? That's the closed delta connection uh, with the higher voltage on the secondary. Higher voltage meaning the, the seriesing up of X2 and X3 on each of the secondary windings there. Let me show you what, um, when, you were, when you were doing that test on the closed, uh, before you close the delta, let me show you if you'd flip the phase on one of the, the windings, then there would have been a different voltage. I believe it's double the phase voltage. Let me check that out. Okay, so now that we've seen all the output voltages there, um, I've removed my leads to this box here. I'm going to remove the jumper between X1 on the first transformer and X4 of the third transformer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the phasing on this third transformer. So I'm gonna reverse the, the phasing here. And I'm going to put my meter across these two terminals here. And let's see how much voltage is available between those two points. I've changed the polarity here, which means that I flipped the polarity here, which means that these are no longer canceling each other out, and I should see a high voltage between those two points. Whew, that's a disgusting voltage. I was expecting double the phase voltage. Phase voltage, we've series these up, so that's 120 plus 120 giving us 240. Double that would have been 480. We're seeing even more, we're seeing 505 volts between those two points. This is why you have to be so careful in closing the delta. You have to take the voltage reading between the two open connections. Right now we've left this final connection between X1 on the first transformer and X4 of the third transformer. And if we put a jumper between those guys, then the breaker is definitely going to blow. Right? We've got 500 volts between those two points. So again, I don't want you to do this. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. There was 500 volts between those two points right here. Right? So if I put a jumper between those two points, most likely something's gonna go. Maybe it's gonna be this breaker, maybe it's gonna be uh, these fuses here. So let's take a look at what happens. So it looks like I turned it on and I got absolutely no voltage between those two points. Okay, well that would make sense because I jumpered them together and put them at the same potential. Uh, let's see what, what voltage we have out. Now I only have 223 volts out between those two points. I had 500 volts before. Something went wrong. The breaker didn't go, but something else on here saved me from having that breaker blow. And it looks like, you can't see it here, but that fuse is vaporized here. So that fuse just blew. Okay, that's why we want to make sure that we're using the um, 250 milliamp fuses so that if we create a hazardous condition, then the, either the, the breaker or these fuses are going to blow. Okay, so if I turn it back on, there should still be, I've now replaced that fuse, maybe another one blew, let's see. Okay, so there's 500 volts between those two points. Okay, again, nothing blew up on my face or anything because we've put protection in to keep you guys safe. Lock fuses on the primary here, and we've got a breaker that's going to blow like that. I don't want you to create that condition though. I'm only showing that uh, to show you what will happen if you screw up. So we don't want to jumper two uh, connections that are at 500 volts. We want to make sure that everything's phased properly. So this is crucial as you go through. Before you close the delta, you want to make sure that you don't have 500 volts between those two points. You want to see that you have basically zero volts, which we're seeing here at 3.5 volts between those guys. Okay, so make sure that you do the, the voltage test prior to closing the delta. If there's any questions, please call your instructor over. Okay, so hopefully everything made sense to you. 
On this guy, this was the um, this was the closed delta, where we had two eight volts three phase in, and we had two forty three phase volt three phase uh, out. Okay, that was because we seriesed up the X two and the X three connections there. All right, guys. If something's not clear, then tell me. Leave some comments uh, below for this video, and I'll see you on the next one. The next one is going to be. Uh, a delta to y connection. So let's check out the next video in this playlist for the delta to y connection.